everybody. Today, I'm going to read five poems from this brilliant book called What a Christmas Cracker from Claire Beck. I hope you enjoy it. What a Christmas Cracker. What a Christmas Cracker full of Christmas joy. A book full Poems, but sorry, children, there isn't a toy. Each poem has something different. Traditions, old and new. I see landscapes to Santa, all to entertain you. Snuggle on the sofa, grab yourself a Christmas treat. Maybe a mince pie or hot chocolate. And rest your weary feet. Hope you enjoy these poems to bring you Christmas cheer. I wish you all a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. True Meaning Angel Gabriel appeared to Mary one night telling her she was going to have God's son. An angel appeared to her husband, Joseph, explaining that his Mary was the chosen. They had to travel far to Bethlehem to pay their taxes. Many miles away, making their long journey on a donkey but arriving there was now here to stay knocking on the door of many inns being repeatedly turned away still not losing total hope an innkeeper said follow me come this way leading them to a dirty old stable, apologising to a pregnant stranger. It wasn't long till Mary gave birth, placing the new baby in a manger. Shepherds tending their flocks at night, an angel said the saviour had been born three wise men witnessed a brand new star which meant a new ruler a new dawn the shepherds go straight to the stable wise men go to jerusalem to find a new king king harrod was alarmed once the baby dead orders the men to return what news they bring at the stable shepherds knelt and worshipped so did so did the wise men showing great respect the three wise men also bought gifts with them gold Frankenstein's, Mehir, they didn't expect. An angel appeared, warning the three wise men. King Harrod wanted to kill Jesus, a new threat. When they left, they didn't return to the king to save the baby who they had just met. An event which happened many years ago. Birth of a ruler, saviour of the world. God's son, Christmas is celebrated each and every year. Remember the true meaning while having fun. Dear Santa, Mummy, I'm worried. I can't sleep at all. What about the children at Christmas in hospital? Will Santa find them to, to give them their presents? The really poorly children away from their parents? Why don't you write to Santa? Put your worries in a 
letter. Hopefully, he'll write back. And, and make you feel much better. Dear Santa, please take time to read. I can't sleep at all. Think about the children, poorly in hospital. Do they get their presents? Do you know where they are? Sure, it would make them better. A new toy doll or new toy car. I know you're busy, especially this time of year. Happy Christmas, love, Lizzie. Days pass by, still worried in my head. The letter that I sent, hoping Santa at, at least read after school one day. Mum greeted me with a smile, handing me a letter. Could it be it had been a while? Dear Lizzie, I had to write you back, touched by your concern. I know where all children are. You'll be happy to learn when I'm out and about. All the good shit girls and boys, no matter where they are, will get to their presents, get their Christmas toys. I have many gifts waiting for you. Hope this helps, dear Lizzie. Merry Christmas to you. up the tree. Best part of Christmas, putting up the tree. All of us together, all the family. Perfect shape, perfect size, finding the perfect tree. Crammed into the car, squashing, prinkling me to find the perfect spot for the tree to go near to an electric socket so the lights can glow from the attic getting the decorations opening the box my school creations all tangled up the christmas lights untangling them always such a fight Plugging them in. They don't turn on. Rush to the shops before they're all gone. Winding the lights around the tree. Being careful to space equal, equally. Time to tinsel. Strands everywhere. All over the floor. Even in my hair. Hanging baubles, ornaments too, some older than me, some brand new. Who places the fairy? Arguments break. Dad loses his temper. I'll do it for goodness sake. Taking a step back, turn on the lights. All of us mesmerized. Such a beautiful sight. D end. If you'd like to get this book for yourself, you can find it here. Lots of love. Enjoy reading with me. Happy Christmas!